What is up you guys? It's early morning. I haven't even done my hair yet. I'm actually uh, staying with some buddies here out in Angel Fire, or between Angel Fire and Eagle's Nest, I should say. And uh, if you guys remember our elk video, we're in the exact same spot we were that video. But it was our first day here. We drove in last night and I woke up to the sound of like a ton of birds outside. And there is a ton of birds outside right now. I've been doing some recording already. Um, there's just so much, so much like activity. There was gross beaks, evening gross beaks to be exact, nut hatches, stellar jays, everything. So as soon as I came out here, I just jumped on the camera right away. But yeah, we're gonna come out early morning and just see what we can't get in front of the lens. So let's see what happens, you guys. Right out there in the tree line. So where all those evening grouse beaks are. They're just eating all the seed. I'm guessing pine seed off the uh, pine cones down there on the floor. And you can hear right there that in the background. They're in the trees too. There's so many of them. And we've gotten some photos of them already. But we're going to keep trying to get a good shot. I want to get a good shot of like a really colored up male. Um, there's only a couple of those guys actually around. There's a ton of like immature and you know a bunch of females too but I want to get a really good photo of like a mature bright yellow male so we'll see if you can do that. Well, we got another one. I was recording those grosbeaks, trying to see if I could find some that were closer in the tree line. And I saw some big birds flying up in the top of this tree. And so I just panned over real quick and zoomed in. And sure enough, it was a new bird. It's a bird that I've actually photographed once before, but very far away from here. It was in the Hemism Mountains. 
They're called Clarks and Nutcrackers. And uh, very cool looking birds. They kind of have like the like the woodpecker body. Um, and they love pine, like the pine nuts that come out of these pine trees. So it makes sense why they're here. But they're way, way up top. And I only got a couple short clips and some photos I'm not very happy with. But I'm hoping that one will come lower sometime during this trip where I can get a really good photo. But that does make three for this morning, which is amazing so far. I've only been out here maybe an hour or so. So it's quieting down as far as the noise goes a little bit. But we're still going to stick it out because... There's so much cool stuff out here to record. There's squirrels running around, rabbits. There's elk that wander through the backyard, as you guys have seen probably from the last video. And there's a ton of birds. So as long as there is activity, we're gonna stay out here and just see what happens. So let's keep at it. perfect timing <laughs> i was literally just ending that short clip right there and i looked down at the ground and there was a nutcracker right there on the floor eating the pine nuts from the pink like the pine cones and that was so cool that's the closest i've gotten to one so i'm hoping that he'll come back and i'll be able to get a good photo i was able to get a decent clip of him but i want a good photo too so we'll see we're gonna stick around and see if he comes back or one of the other ones that's been flying around comes back so let's see Well, it had been a while. Things quieted down a lot out here, but I heard a lot of activity back on the side of the yard where the tarp was. So I went back over there and I'm glad I did because all those pygmy nut hatches came back. And right after that, a white breasted nut hatch, another bird that we have seen a million times, but I've never gotten a good photo of, came and we got a photo of that. And another bird, the, was it the black cap chickadee? We've also seen a million times, I've never gotten a good photo of, got a great photo of that one too. So in the course of like two minutes, we had two birds that we've been trying to get a photo of for a long, long time and we got it. And that takes us up to a total of five, five brand new birds for 2020 guys. That is so awesome. So we're going to keep staying out here a little bit longer. It's definitely quieting down now as the temperature is rising, but I mean, even out here, during late summer i mean we're what august 6th today 
So even in at August 6th, the, the high today is supposed to only be 75 degrees, but as the temperature rises, the birds start to spread out and start to just go forage into the deeper parts of the forest. So we're gonna stay out here for a little bit longer and see if we can't find anything else. But man, I can't complain. Day one and we have five new birds. So let's keep going. I think that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and coming along. I'm definitely going to be shooting some more videos while I'm out here. We're out here for a total of two days, so we're probably going to be looking for some elk later on this evening, maybe some more bird stuff. We'll see. There's a lot of areas out here that we can explore, though, so stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. But to all you who have always been here since the beginning, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a good one.